you guys. Uh, it's so nice to be working together with you guys. My name is Jia, but you can call me Kang or K if you prefer, because uh, my name was Jane when I came to the United States for like four years ago. I know like many people, many Vietnamese people just like me, their name have been changed because of the document when they make it. Yeah, um, it's like super annoying because uh, it's not my real name. So, you know, so this is my second year at the Myanmar College. I'm majoring computer engineer. So um, this was my introduction about myself. Mm, what actually changed my life suddenly or unexpectedly was the social distance during the COVID pandemic. So when I was just adapting to life as a high school student at Mira Mesa High School in the United States, everything is new for me. Uh, the language is different. So, you know, English is my second language and Vietnamese is my first language. Uh, I remember that two years ago when I was having lunch with my friends at school. So, and then after that, we received the notice that our school, Miramisa Mira High School, has been locked down due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So for the next day, um, we will be no longer at the school anymore, but we will attend in the online learning class. So however, we are the pioneers of the online learning program. So like, our grade will be will not change or will be maintained due to like the end of the school year. So to be honest, we took the advantage and we skipped our school and didn't do any assignment or homework because my grade would not be changed, you know. And then my life, my schedule, everything has been completely changed. I no longer hang out with my friends anymore or participate in the outside activities like gym or basketball. So I just stay at home and spend all my time to play on the computer, to play video games with my friends every day, all day. Um, after graduating from Miramisa High School, I realized that I needed to change this lifestyle in the positive way to be better. So I decided to study for a driver license so that I could like move around easy. So I won't bother my parents anymore. I think this is a good change for me, uh, benefit so change. So it's very good for me. So now I'm more focused on studying and exercising. No more playing video games, spare all my time to play it. So yeah, that's it. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> I do too. I thought that was really good. I think I think everyone can relate with COVID and being yeah. very antisocial. Mm -hmm. I know I was. You did, yeah. Yeah. I think like certainly change the habits that actually can change our life and yeah. during the COVID. I uh -huh. that too. Yeah. Hard time. It was a big change. Yeah. Yeah. And that you did a great uh, speech. <laughs> I thank you, thank you. You seem very calm. I couldn't tell you were nervous. 
Really? <laughs> I'm <laughs> really nervous. No. Yeah, I thought you did good. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, I'm going next. Okay. Do you go? <laughs> no, I can go. You can go. All right. So. so, hi, my name is Me, and some basic information about me. My major is business administration, and this is my first year in college. It's kind of new to me. <laughs> Um, I'm Vietnamese. I had moved to the U.S. for five years. That's actually the event that changed my life. Um, in 2017, I received note that my family was about to move to the U.S. to live. And I was about like excited and scared. I hoping that my study and work going to be like more stable once I have got here. However, I'm concerned that I will be unable to adjust like the Brazil and language of America because on that day, I didn't speak English at all and couldn't communicate with people. I was so scared when people were talking to me. And like, I tried to avoid it every time they talk to me. Um, I heard that America have a very developed industry. I used to worry that I wouldn't keep up with that environment. Um, everything in the United States is completely different from what you see like in Vietnam, from the culture to the way of life of each individual. Um, People in Vietnam, they very friendly and people in Vietnam, they are very friendly. And to be honest with you, life's very safe because I've been protected by my parents and don't have to worry about anything. And when I first arrived in the U.S., I was exposed to the diverse range of people and culture. There's a lot of new things for me, like challenge for me to upgrade myself and achieve it. English is the biggest challenge for me because um, English is my second language. And finally, I get through it. Um, yeah, I have uh, tried and learned a lot from here. People of American, they nice and friendly. Even when I don't speak English, they still try to help me. I've made a lot of new friends in here, help me get through the um, difficult transition to life and I think America is a great place for people to like grow up and uh, upgrade their life and thank you for your time it was good it was good because English is your second language so I understand yeah just like me yeah, I thought you did so good. I yeah, it's a really good. hard time because <laughs> I can't talk to people. Mm -hmm. No, that was like really good. It was courageous. I can't even imagine moving to a whole new country. Yeah. That's so scary. That's crazy. Okay, I can go next. I'm Emily. This is also my first year at um, the community college here, and I'm majoring in communications. So this is a like required class for that. But I've always struggled with public speaking. I get really bad anxi anxiety whenever I have to give a speech. And I was surprised to learn that people are more afraid of public speaking than death. Um, I thought that was really crazy. 
but I realize it's relatable and I don't know where my fear of public speaking started, but the first speech I ever gave was in fourth grade in Mrs. Wood's class. And I remember we had to give a speech about a historical figure that we wanna learn more about. So I chose Martin Luther King Jr. because I was just super inspired by his movement for social justice and equality and peace. And I was also really fascinated by the power of his speech. So I prepared a lot for this speech and on the day I completely blanked. I don't remember <laughs> giving this speech, but I do remember after everyone was done, our teacher told us that two students would be chosen to present in front of the entire school. And so I remember everyone in the class volunteering, except for me and this one other girl. And somehow my teacher convinces us to volunteer. So the next day, our teacher tells us who she has chosen for this assembly to speak. And she says, uh, this kid named Holden and me, Emily. And I remember I was terrified. I was so nervous. I couldn't even fathom speaking in front of hundreds of people. So the day of the speech, Holden goes first. His speech was incredible. It was about this artist called Dolly. He spoke so confidently. And I remember sitting there thinking, how am I supposed to compete with this speech? So I go up, I was wearing my dad's suit. My dad is six foot tall. He's a big dude. It's really small. So I was wearing like this dress and I had like a scribbled on mustache. And I remember going up there and I remember saying, I have a dream and it was the best speech I ever gave. I was calm and confident and I felt powerful. I have never spoken in front of so many people ever again. And I've never spoken with so much ease ever again, but I have improved. And I know I'm capable of speaking in that way because I did it before. And so now every time I speak, I try to think of me in that fourth grade uh, classroom speaking in front of all these people. I don't know if it was because I was in fourth grade and I didn't care what anyone thought or because of Mrs. Wood's validation, but I know I can do it. And so I just try to find that confidence in me every time I speak. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's was really good. <laughs> oh, you look confident now, like really good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, like... yeah that's why you, your major is uh, communicating, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's so nice doing it in Zoom meetings. Like eye contact, everything, <laughs> English. <laughs> <laughs>